contact Albuquerque Center 135.8 or 343.9er. F-86s launched their first combat air patrols into MiG Alley in December 1950. Captain Bruce Hinton takes first blood for the Sabre on December 17th. The F-86s do well. But there are 400 MiGs based across the Yalu. In 1950, there are fewer than 50 Sabres in Korea. Even though outnumbered, the experience and esprit of the Sabre pilots makes the critical difference in MiG Alley. It's called flight suit attitude. Robbie Reisner has it. Arriving in Korea in the spring of 1952, Reisner's flying skills are quickly recognized. He soon advances to flight lead status. Today, in MiG Alley, Reisner's Sabre flight has just been jumped by eight MiG-15s. They normally had high escort. My wingman called out. We had uh, more MiGs coming in on our three o'clock position, making a pass on them. The MiGs are higher and have the speed advantage. If the Sabres continue straight and level, they present broadside targets to the MiGs. turn left, the MiGs will attack from the rear. Reisner's only option is to turn directly into the attackers, presenting a smaller cross-section while forcing the MiGs to overshoot. Reisner calls a hard break into the MiGs. Being a typical fighter pilot, flying that wonderful F-86, we weren't really concerned about these guys. We didn't want them to hit us, though. So we broke into them, made a high G turn into them. The abrupt maneuver derails the ambush. Two MiGs overshoot and streak by. The F-86s reverse. As the MiGs dive at the Americans, the Sabres make a hard climbing turn directly into them. MiGs overshoot. The Sabres then reverse their direction, putting them on their attackers 6 o'clock. The tables have turned within seconds, the hallmark of jet age combat in MiG Alley. I took tail in Charlie because he's the closest one to me. And I put the pepper on the tailpot, pulled the triggers. He lit up like a Christmas tree. You see, we had armor-piercing incendiary bullets in those 650 caliber machine guns. The burst riddles the bandit's engine. The MiG pulls into a climbing turn in a desperate attempt to shake his tormentor. Trailing smoke, the MiG claws for altitude. The smoke suddenly stops. His engine quits. The MiG coasts upward, bleeding off airspeed. Reisner's F-86 shudders as he chops power and pops his speed brakes to stay in trail. The MiG hangs suspended, motionless, then drops off into a spin. The F-86 buffets as it too loses energy and enters a storm. Reisner kicks in left rudder, nose is over, fires another burst into the spiraling MiG, only 300 feet away. It was a thrill to hear those guns chattering, because something was going to happen up in front, and sure enough it did. 50 caliber, armor-piercing incendiary rounds slam into the MiG's aft fuselage. The vertical stabilizer is blown clear away. The MiG pilot ejects. The fight is over. It is Reisner's first kill. I'll tell you, that was a grand feeling. We were doing what we were assigned to do, and that was to knock every big down we could. 
And that's what I did. 